Hello educators and welcome to Lesson 6, Google Jamboard. In this lesson, we will be taking a look at the collaborative features of Jam and interactivity on the LG Create Board. During the lesson, we will go on a tour of all the great features of the Jamboard app. Then we will explore the different sharing options that make it such a great collaborative tool. Next, Chris will demonstrate some of the great ways you and your students can interact with the Jam app on the LG Create Board display. Then, we will be sharing some templates you can use right away with Jamboard. And finally, we will be including a YouTube playlist for you to take a deeper dive into Google Jamboard to learn more. And now, we will turn it back over to Chris to take us through our lesson. Thanks so much, Alex. We're now going to take a look at our lesson on Google Jamboard. This is one of my favorite tools that are part of Google Workspace. Students can collaborate in real time, and teachers can use it as a formative assessment or lots of ways to increase collaboration in their classroom. To launch Google Jamboard, you have a couple of options. I've saved an icon on the desktop that can launch it directly from our Chrome browser or I can launch one directly from Google Drive. Once I'm in, click the plus sign, and we get a new Jamboard. Let's dive in. Google Jamboard is one of my favorite uh, Google tools built into Workspace that allows for collaboration, uh, brainstorming, and all sorts of great activities with our students. It works really well with the LG Create Board, and so students can be interacting on their devices, interacting from the Create Board. You can be interacting on the Create Board, and everyone's seeing the same thing at the same time. So let's start a new jam. We'll title this one, Ancient Egypt. Let's see if I can spell this correct. Okay, perfect. Now what you'll notice is that there aren't a lot of features. What I can do is I can make a copy of any jam that I want to. I can also save any individual frame as an image. So let's see what else we have up here. We have the ability to zoom. We can set our background and you'll notice there's some prefabricated choices. We have dots, we have lined paper, which is if you saw one of our prior lessons, uh, that's built directly into Jamboard. You have graph paper for math, darker graph paper, and you can upload your own images. So this is great if you have a uh, pre-templated uh, layout for math problems or things like that that you want students to work on, and you can actually bring it directly into it, and they can interact and write on top of it. Uh, well, if we take a look here, I will set this back to plain. Uh, we have the ability to write on here, which is great. Works really well with our interactive touch. And write. Uh, we can also erase anything that we put on our board or we can clear the frame. And we can move things around on the screen using the select. Now where it's really powerful when it comes to collaboration are the uh, ability to add either text, text box, and students can add them, I can add them. Another is the sticky notes feature. And so stickies, what I like to do is I like to have students uh, write their student number or write their first name. Uh, and write a thought. So for this one, I'm actually going to, oops. I wonder if it's hot in Egypt all the time. And so students can add different colors and they can add their own thoughts, their ideas, their answers, great formative assessment. You can also insert pictures from the web, from Google Photos, and so we can do a quick search 
and find some great images inserted into there and students can build a discussion around this and we can do this collaboratively on, collaboratively on the jam board and on uh, our create board move to the next frame and so I can actually take students through a lesson and I could pre lay out questions on any of these pages ahead of time and have my students uh, responding to my discussion prompts so um, why do you believe they built the pyramids in Egypt maybe this is a anticipatory set for my students who may have already been exposed to pyramids previously and then we're going to um, have them answer with a post-it note so we can have them interacting um, on screen uh, we can also add shapes if we want to we have all sorts of generic shapes math shapes half circle and uh, we can go up to 20 frames and so we can duplicate frames which is great when we're creating um, think pair shares for our students we may have small groups and I can assign each group a jam to work on and then I can move throughout it and interact with them one great feature of Google Jamboards is the collaboration feature and having me as the ed teacher be able to connect with students via the create board or my computer at my desk or anywhere else in the classroom and students being able to interact together collaboratively. Uh, in order to do that, I can do a couple of things. I can obviously take a jam and share it uh, in Google Classroom if I'm using Classroom or Canva or, or Canvas uh, or Schoology or any of these other LMS platforms by clicking share and changing to anyone with the link can edit or I could share directly by email and I can copy that link and done and paste that into any platform that I want. Uh, I can also uh, assign Google Jamboards and Google Classroom and each student gets an individual board. The downside to that is typically um, that they're working independently. That, that's fine for some assignments, but when we're talking about collaboration, we want to make sure that they're interacting together in the same space. And so um, I would make sure to either uh, share as an assignment uh, a board that is collaborative by everyone in the class um, or by sharing with a link. And once again, if I were to share with an individual, I can actually assign them either view access or edit access. Uh, there is no commenting access in Jamboard. Again, send. And now he has access to editing this jam. On our Jamboard, we can do all sorts of things. As I've shown before, we have our multiple boards and we can quickly add them. But probably more importantly, here's the easiest things we can do. We can quickly and easily move things on the screen and our students can see that interaction in real time. I add new post-it notes or new sticky notes to our screen. And it's there. Oops, let's close that up. Cancel. And I can maneuver this on the screen. I can increase the size of it. So I can increase the size, shrink it, reorganize it. And so that's really important when we're working with students on brainstorming ideas, the ability to organize and move things around on the screen and, and concentrate our ideas um, or organize our ideas quickly and easily. The other thing we can do when we're over here is we can move our images around on the screen. So these allow us to reframe and organize text on the screen quickly uh, and have a really dynamic collaborative environment where our students are adding post-it notes furiously. They're, we then organize our thoughts and our ideas into more than one location together. Uh, and all of this is happening uh, up here on the create board. It's happening on the student devices and everyone can see this happening in real time.
So as our students are interacting on here, I can have a whole class. I can have 35 students, 40 students, depending on the size of your class, interacting in real time, adding post-it notes collaboratively together. Now that's a, a huge uh, accomplishment and the ability to organize visual information and ideas quickly together and collaboratively. Uh, the other thing I will note about Jamboard is there are a lot of great free resources out there, free templates, uh, and Alex is going to provide you with a number of those resources later on in these lessons. So be sure to check those out. As you can see, Google Jamboard has so many great features in it to support student collaboration in the classroom. I'm now going to turn it back to Alex, who has some additional resources for you. Thanks, Chris. And as promised, here are some resources for you. First, if you would like some additional training on Jamboard, head on over to the Google Training Center and learn more about that powerful tool. If you are more of a visual learner and would like to do a deeper dive into Google Jamboard, we have curated a YouTube playlist for you to explore. If you are looking for Jamboard templates, you just need a simple Google search to find thousands of them ready to go for your classroom. We hope you had fun learning about Google Jamboard. We will see you in the next lesson.